Howdy y'all around the wheel here, pulling up on Medivo. And this is this is the real iconic theme in the game right here. Oh man, do I love this song. This is why, you know what? I almost, I said in the first episode, you know, there's never been any hint of a Jazz Jackrabbit remaster or, or a remake, but I almost don't think I would want there to be. Oh, hey, hi there, Birdie, how you doing? You'll help me soak up a hit. There we go. I'm gonna need it if I'm gonna be running around with all these weird helmet head dudes. All right, so yeah, the music is so perfect. Everything about Medivo is so perfect. Like if you only played Shareware episode one and you only saw this level, I mean, what else was there to see, honestly? You saw this level, you got the game at its very finest. You got this lovely rain background. You got the striking red brick against the blue rain. You got those chants in the background, the oh. You got the lightning flashing in the background with the turtle silhouette. How cool does that look? Oh man, yeah. Like I was saying about shareware yesterday. Uh, <laughs> oh geez. Now that's, mm, that calls for dropping in some bouncies. There we go. All right, get it, got it, moving on. So yeah, you got the whole, yeah, you didn't need, if you played this game on shareware, you didn't need anything else. You got the whole experience, like pretty much right out of the gate for free. Disc one, episode one. Oh, hey, that time it only took my shield, hooray. That's okay, this is a risk, yeah. Didn't look before I jumped, that's my bad. I was too greedy for a few toaster shots. My bad, I guess. But yeah, man, this is this is like if you want to know what Jazz Jackrabbit is capable of, Medivo is peak Jazz Jackrabbit. Okay, yeah, the toaster hitbox is big enough to grab the oh owie. Yeah, it's big enough to shoot them in the hallway. Cause I remember them being a little off center. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the respawns in this game. The respawns in this game are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I'm about to die. We don't want that. Okay. All right, we need to jump in and get those carrots and maybe consider whatever is, else is up there to be not worth it. How about, there we go, okay. Yeah, I'm still only on, I'm still only on level one of Medivo. There's a little bit of precise platforming in Jazz Jackrabbit, but I find on the whole it was not as bad as other fast games that made you do precise platforming. There is one part, I think, in episode two that is just overclocked to hell and back. And I remember, did I have to turn on slow motion for it in my initial playthrough? It was, it was on a planet, it was on, I think it was called Orbitus. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, you die, and I make this jump very badly, and I somehow manage to not lose health on spikes for a second. I came from here, didn't I? Oh, yeah, okay, so I have to make this. Yippee, yeehaw, my... Oh, my God, I'm gonna die right here, because I can't platform. Okay, all right. All right. What's, what's up here? Oh, I thought this was a part with a... I thought that was the part with the, uh, the hoverboard. The hoverboard is really fun. I always thought that was one of the cooler aspects of this game. You get to jet around on a hoverboard for a while. Jazz, like, looks at his... He, like, inspects his nail bed while he's doing it. He looks all cool. Probably one of the only points where Jazz Jackrabbit is, like, effortlessly cool. Everyone tried really hard to be cool in the 90s. It was a... It was a thing. Uh, who do I need to... Is there anybody I need to... They're not going to put an enemy in a blind drop, are they? The game's not that rude, is it? That's good design right there. I, I I can think of plenty of games that would be so rude as to put an enemy onto a place where you're going to drop. Oh my gosh, I feel instantly 10 million times better. Okay, I anticipated it a little. Here we are. All right. All right, we want to be very careful because the knockback when you're on an airboard is absolutely absurd. Okay, we got some opportunities to heal up here. 
I'm playing on medium difficulty, which I don't really ever do because there's not much discernible difference between difficulty settings in this game other than the amount of time you have to complete a level and the amount of hits you can take. Uh, we're on this thing. Maybe should have saved those, but you know what? It's not that big a deal. We're halfway through the level. We're making it. We've only got two minutes and 38 seconds to beat the level, but time has never really been a concern in this game. I remember playing Sonic and Knuckles and like some levels take like the full 10 minutes and it's like the airplane hangar level design from the 90s just got really insane sometimes. Oh, ow. Yeah, I was taking a risk there. But the only real risk, the only time we need to be really scared is if I'm losing that. There we go. Is if I'm on that red. There we go. Rapid fire toasters. Yes. Rapid fire toasters were also a thing in the 90s. It was called After Dark. Look it up, kids. Ah, you have a much wider radius than I anticipated, actually. Um, boing. 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 Am I about to leave this level without having found the bonus? I sure am, son of a gun. Oh well. Well, we're gonna gear up and we're gonna fight a boss then, I guess. No bonus level for, for old Uncle Roundy today. That should have been a pretty easy one to find. It was right there in, oh no, we're, oh wow. I forgot that we were not on level two yet. No wonder I didn't find a bonus then. Okay, stop worrying about things, Swiss Chess. You're being, you're being weird. You're making it weird. Okay. I love these little castle towers. I love how you can go behind some of the, some of the bits here. Others are solid brick. Okay. All right. Lay down some cover before we go in there. Torch the joint. And still manage to get hit. Perfect. Excellent. Wow. Yeah, this is a fast one. Okay. Lots of spikes we could just dance on. There we go. We don't care. Oh, hey, there it is. All right, so we're done playing on the spikes now. That's enough of that. Okay, what's up inside here? Lots of firepower. I'm sitting at 999. I'm feeling pretty cozy. If I just fire my gun at all times, I should be pretty okay. Rapid fire missiles might be even better, actually. I wonder how many of those I've got. That's in the, that's no doubt in the. Oh, I thought that would be a lot closer to 999 as well. I think you shoot two at a time. Nope, two missiles counts as one shot. Excellent, we're gonna be laying down a lot of, here we go. Okay, yeah, I saw that, don't think I didn't. I actually saw myself about to get knocked in the face that time. I should just be shooting at all times, quite honestly. I don't know why I'm being so defensive. I have more than enough ammo to support a full-on offensive. Uh, we will need that, though, just in case. Just in case. You never know how things are going to go. You never know when you could, you know, be totally reckless and just eat shit. Oh, hey, another one. There we go. Anything over here? Absolutely there is. It's my friend, I believe the bird's name is Hip Hop. Yeah, let's let you do something shooting for a little bit. Hey, hi, how are you? That's something, seems like something. There we go. You can't, you can't hit the hitbox? What? Okay, that's, that's loser business right there. Let's just go back to toasting things, okay. Okay. Yeah, the enemies were always kind of off-center. They had a hard time... I always had a hard time with the hitboxes in this game and with the alignment of enemies. It wasn't always so neatly grid-placed. You couldn't always rely on enemies being directly in front of your shot. And I think with some more... With some games that were slightly more tile-based, you could count on that, but... Those floating ghost swords are so cool. I love ghost swords in general. That's why the Agislash line is my favorite Pokemon. And why I'm forever mad that it's not in Pokemon Go yet. 
Niantic, put Hone Edge in Pokemon Go. I'm begging you. Also, maybe lower the uh, lower the hatch rate for Larvestas. It's kind of it's kind of distressing that I've gotten like one in over an entire year. Yeah, I play Pokemon Go. Uh, round the wheel three. If you want to be friends with me on Pokemon Go. Oh yeah, Alt is still jump. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we got these little red pools that make you jump. Okay, the red pools are the ones that make you jump really high. I got those mixed up with the with the red and yellow like pulsing ones that turn you around. Oh no, we don't want to exit the bonus game. We want to go around that. Woo! Always, always kind of scary. All right, we got 35 gems we got to pick up here. Can we go down this road? Nope, it's blocked off. The little Mario, Super Mario Kart bridge is blocking the way. Okay, sometimes they'll be really mean and put an exit sign at the very end of a line of gems. They're not getting that mean yet, I don't guess. That's nice, I appreciate that. Bonus stage clear. That paves the way for the boss. Now approaching the Guardian, which is always question mark shaped because they couldn't do like a little mini version of it. Oh yeah, there we go. We are more than equipped to take off this guy. Bosses in this game take about two seconds, usually. Well, I don't have my little pheasant lane now cover fire unfortunately he died one second before victory was achieved but we did kill 100 percent of the enemies in this level so yay us that's the end of episode one jazz jackrabbit moves pretty quick right now the hideously dorky devon shell is constructing twin mega battleships to blow up jazz's home planet caritas ava Earlong awaits this game was so edgy the sarcasm, the cleavage. The cleavage was what always cracked me up. It's like, whoa, you can make cartoon characters have boobies. I think that was the first time I realized that. Um, no, let's go, let's go roundy. Only roundy can best cliff. And Nick and Robert and Tim and Mark and Nigel and all those other white guys. So next time, we will start in on episode two of Jazz Jackrabbit. There are uh, quite a few, actually. There's at least nine, but yeah. So this is gonna be this is gonna be essentially what runs through. This is gonna be essentially what runs through the rest of the summer. This is easy to record. We'll have this kind of taking summer of Roundy 2024 off into the sunset. No, thank you. Nobody asked for the demo. But yeah, this will take summer of Roundy 2024 into the sunset. And then after that, it'll be mostly Toodles until, mostly Toodaloo until next summer. Although if you're a patron, you know that there's some stuff in the pipeline for in between. And you can even see some of that stuff if you're not a patron. But patreon.com around the wheel, can't hurt to, can't hurt to shill it, right? The creators of jazz, thank you for playing. And I thank you for watching. See you next time.